had immersed himself in the study of the modern classical composers, particularly Bartok. Utilizing their advanced harmonies in his own solos while setting them apart from his contemporaries. Who was Jimmy Rainey? Here on Big on Bebop. He was born James Elbert Rainey on August 20th, 1927, in Louisville, Kentucky. His father was a prominent newsman and his mother played the guitar. He studied with A.J. Giacol and Hayden Causey. Causey recommended Rainey to replace him in the Jerry Wald Band in New York City in 1944. After two months with Wald, he went to Chicago and worked there with Max Miller, Lou Levy, Lee Konitz, and many local combos. He toured with Woody Herman from January to September 1948. Worked in a trio with Al Haig, then Buddy DeFranco, Sextet, intermittently with the Artie Shaw Band in 1949 to 1950. He played briefly with Terry Gibbs before becoming part of the Stan Getz Quintet, where he was responsible with Getz for the unique sound achieved by the group from 1951 to 1952. Played with Teddy Charles, then from March of 1953, he spent a year with the Red Norvo Trio, toured Europe with him in early 54. After three months with Les Elgart, he joined the Jimmy Lyon Trio at the Blue Angel, remaining there until he played with Don Elliott's quintet in the Broadway show A Thurber Carnival in 1960. He rejoined Getz in 62 to 63, then did TV jingles, recordings, private teaching, and played for singers as well as for Broadway shows. He returned to Louisville in the late 1960s to teach, working in non-music jobs and doing some playing. In the summer of 1972, he visited New York City, played at the Guitar Gullivers in New Jersey and Bradley's. He appeared in concert with Al Haig at the Carnegie Recital Hall in November of 1974. From the mid-70s, he began a tour of Japan, Holland, France, Switzerland, England, Denmark, and Belgium, collaborating with his son, Doug, who's also a guitarist, as well as Attila Zoller in Germany. In the early 90s, his career was slowed by Meniere's disease, which Rainey lived with for 30 years, a degenerative condition that led to near deafness in both ears, although this did not stop him from playing. He died of heart failure in Louisville on May 10, 1995. Teddy Charles described Rainey as one of the first to grasp the Charlie Parker lyricism into long, flowing lines of his own. He went through the chord changes melodically and not just running them. The New York Times called Rainey one of the most gifted and influential post-war jazz guitarists in the world. Even today, his style has retained an elevated sophistication that few, if any, possess. Jimmy Rainey a wonderful bebop guitar player.